This is an LED sign. Now this is a Bluetooth sign. The beauty about this one is sometimes you want something just unique and different. I know a lot of YouTubers and a lot of studios have this, but um, this is a matrix panel sign. So what does that mean? So it's able to, with little tiny LEDs, and I didn't count them, but there's got to be at least a thousand of them in there. So you can see that thing. You can show text, animations. You have There's an app that goes with it. You can do graffiti on it. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Um, and it's USB powered, so you can use this in a car, which is something I really want to do. I'm telling you, I'm getting tailgated all the time right now, and I just want to have really fun messages to put out for people. So <laughs> let me go ahead and pull this out and do an unboxing for you. We're going to go to the unbox camera here. So inside the box, pretty straightforward. You know, it's going to have the power cord here. It's going to have a plug-in interface. So we're going to have to have USB power to it. It does have a car charger here. So you can plug that in and get USB power from the car here. It looks like it's got one amp and 2.4. So you could charge your phone off of this at high speed and run the display as well. It is flexible. So it's wrapped up when you get it here, just like this. I'm going to show you that real quick. Now it is a type A, so it's the standard USB. So it's not gonna work with the original mag cube that we have. So it's 16 by 64 sRGB is what it's saying here. And it's got a little bit of stuff being stuck together in there on it, but you can see all of those little individual LEDs and then all of the little uh, circuits on the side. Pretty slick. It's gonna have some instructions and information about it you know, what power supply you have, some troubleshooting information. It does come with some adhesive tape, but they do warn you to be careful that this is not going to leave residue, but it can, uh, in high temperatures, get really sticky. So be really careful. Um, can be used in the cars. I wouldn't use regular tape with it. I would use the, the high temperature tape that they include. And then again, this is the simple user guide that they have for it, including the app to download. Now, I played with it a little bit on my other phone, but I'm actually going to download the app for the new one, and we're going to play around with it. It's got a bunch of different cool options here. So I'm going to go ahead and scan this. The way that you get that app installed on it is pretty slick. Just going to bring up the app here so that you can see it. So that is the cool LED 1248. So I'm just downloading it real quick. It doesn't cost anything at all, even though they make you do that. And there's some of the cool stuff that it already uh, can show you. I'm going to try to see if I can pull this up on the overhead just so you can see it best. I'm going to go ahead and open it real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and plug the power in for this because I want you guys to be able to see this thing live. So I'm going to go ahead and get it plugged into power. Uh, easiest way to do that, again, I'm just going to go top down for us for a sec. Actually, I guess I'm going side camera. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to the side. And then I'm going to bring this cable over. Now, they don't include a regular wall outlet one, but it will work because it's USB. It'll work with any sort of regular wall outlet. Uh, it should not be lower than two amps, it's saying. There we go. I'm going to bring this up here so you guys can see it. <laughs> There we go. So it's just bringing up this little sign that it has. And I'm going to go ahead and on this app is what I'm actually doing to get the next one. So I'm going to say connect. That's the one I want to connect to. And we're ready to go. So now I can do anything I want. Um, I can add text. Click to the top right button to add text. So I hit plus and I can say watch the net guy. Sure. And okay, I can tap it now. Now it's loading onto it and check out what it's saying here. Uh, it's got an animation or static. So I can say, hey, go left to right, go a little bit faster. So I'm just telling it to, to go a little bit faster in the scroll and hey, watch the net guy. <laughs> so I can put that in my back window of my car and I can have that displaying. So you can do so much with this. It's pretty amazing product here. Um, there's other couple things that you can do with this. So again, I have a bunch of different uh, patterns and animations. If it's the holidays, I can tap that one. These are pre-made that are coming with it. Now, you can't really see because the studio lights in here are so bright, but the colors on this 
are great. I'm going to see if I can show it to you on the side camera so you can see it. Again, flexible sign. Take a look at that. <laughs> so uh, very bright in the studio here if you're looking at it. To me, to my eyes, it looks great. You can actually control the brightness in the app. So you can see at an angle it's even brighter for some reason on that camera. Um, so it's got that capability here. I'm going to go ahead. Now, it doesn't look like it has an adhesive back. That was another thing I was wondering about on it here. Um, you can, again, add different things. Maybe you're getting tailgated a lot. I know I do. <laughs> back up. It's got a little car in there. Uh, maybe you need to tell somebody to go left or right, or maybe you need to have this be a temporary signage. I thought this was so cool that they include this. So it's got a little chevron pattern that it can do. Graffiti was one of my favorite modes, and I'll show you why. <laughs> I'm just going to bring it up over here. So there it is. I'm going to do a little bit of graffiti on my phone. Now I have a, a palette here you can see. I can say... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now my graffiti is not great, but I can tap it and I can have it scroll high from J. So I can have whatever I want. Again, looks much brighter in the studio if you're taking a look at it in person here. But that's a graffiti feature. Let me show you real quick how that app works. So I'm using the app here and I can go through and I can just set whatever I want it to do. So that's the app right there. If I tap on any of these like that one, for example, it's downloading to this and I can show you what it shows so there you go <laughs> so it's got that as well um, pretty slick uh, you can develop your own versions of these things that's another feature that it has now I don't want to get myself in trouble playing YouTube music but it does have the ability to actually be a graphic equalizer so depending on what you're showing it can actually listen to the sound and do graphic EQ stuff of your music. So I have Jingle Bells there playing on my phone and it's actually showing on here kind of a, a graphic EQ. So that's another mode that it has. Lots of pretty cool ideas. Again, you can go to just static things. Maybe you want to have a sign that says, remember to wear your mask. I don't know. Um, but I like this idea. I think it's going to be really cool. I really want to use this in my car. That's one of the neat features. Uh, one of the ways that I want to use it. Again, you can see how bright it is at an angle, but for some reason, the way my cameras work here, it's brighter at an angle, but it is very bright looking at it. And with that adhesive, that high temperature adhesive that they give you, you could put this in the back of a car and maybe your kid's a state champion, maybe something cool is going on, maybe you're just married. And that is the Matrix LED panel right here. And you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. With app control, we showed here a little bit of a couple different features. I'm going to go ahead and do one more animation real quick here. Um, I'm going to do one slide. So the animation capability lets you do slide by slide. So if you had a funny GIF or a logo or something that you want to do, you could actually have it go back and forth. So I just did a quick I'm talking super quick animation here. Hi there, hi there. <laughs> now it's going super fast, but you can actually go in and edit it. Um, and you can edit what the speed and other values of it are. So I can turn the speed down. As you can see, I'm just changing it on the app. I can hit OK. And I can put as many of these as I want to in a row. So now I'm loading the new one, so it's not going to be as twitchy. So it's going to say hi there. But you could design this on your computer and you can actually send those individual slides in there and you can do some pretty low tech uh, animations in there, but have company logos and other cool stuff like that, which is pretty slick as well. So again, matrix LCD sign, this is, or LED sign, I should say.